Hi there. I hope you completed all the exercises in the selection sets topic. In this video, we will revisit each of the requirements and go through the code. You might have a different solution as mine, but for as long as it addresses the requirements, then it's fine. Let's start with exercise one. So we have here the requirement. Using ssget function, create a program called paint it red by selecting all the lines, polylines, circles, and text, and storing them in their own selection sets. Then using chprop command, change their colors to red, then print a message painting in red completed when done. So now let's uh, check our solution. So this, this is the first requirement. So we define a function called paint it red. Then we create a variable called lines and select all the line objects in the drawing. Then using the chprop command, we change the color of all the lines to red. The second requirement is create a T lines variable and store all the polylines in the drawing. Then using the chprop command, change the color to red. Same thing with the circles. We created a variable called circles and selected all the circle objects. Then using the chprop command, we change this, all the circles to color red. The last part of the requirement is to create a variable text and store all the text in the drawing. And also using the chprop command, change the color of text to red. Then we prompt the user with the painting in red completed. And we just created here a principle for a clean exit, clean output. So I hope you got it correct and you have the same results as mine. You probably see your drawings all turned into red. Now let's go to the next exercise. Using ssadd function, create a program called add object to add the line entity into an empty selection set. SS, then print the message line object was added. Then get the count of the selection set and display to the user. So let's check our solution. This is for the exercise 2 using ssadd. We define a new function called add object. So in this code, we create, we initialize a variable ss as a new selection set using ssadd. Then we prompted the user to select a line entity and store that object into the ln variable. Then we added that new object, the selected object, into the selection set using the ssadd function. Then we, pre we, we prompted the user, line object was added. And now we get the length of the selection set and store it in a count variable. Then we just uh, printed the message here by concatenating these uh, words, this brace, with the count of the selection set, which is, we now have uh, one. Basically, selection set has now one object. I hope you got that one correct as well. Now let's check the requirement number three. Using ssdel function, create a program called del object. Select all the lines in the drawing, then get the count and display to the user. Then proceed with deleting the first object in the selection set and display the new count again to the user after the deletion. So here is our solution for exercise three. We, we define a new function called del object. We created a selection set called SS and store all the line in the drawing. We then get the, the count of selection set and store in a count variable. 
then we display the message there are how many count lines in the drawing using the str cut and itua which means that integer to ascii conversion and basically concatenating this all right then we prompted again deleting one object using ssdel we get the first entity name uh, from the selection set with this index 0 then we deleted the that object from the selection set using the ssdel function we get the count again of the selection set which is now less than 1 and whatever we displayed here it should now be less than 1 let's say we have here 10 this one should count 9 so there are now 9 lines in the selection set okay next exercise is exercise number 4 which is the ssmem function create a program called ismember by allowing the user to select objects then store those objects in selection set SS now prompt the user to select an object and verify if the selected object is a member of the selection set or not then print the message accordingly so this is our solution for exercise 4 using SSMEM we define a function called isMember then we created a selection set using the ssget function uh, you can now select the multiple objects from this line then now we are going to select one object using the car of end cell to just pick an object that we can use to validate from our selection set now we have here the if condition which is basically validating if the object we selected is not nil which means we selected a valid object and it is a member of the selection set SS then we prompt the user with selected object is in the selection set if however the object we selected in here is not part of the selection set which is the first objects that we selected then this one will be executed will prompt that the object is not in the selection set and that's it for exercise 4 now let's check the exercise number 5 using SS name function create a program called get radius and select all the circles and store in selection set SS then get the name of and properties of the first circle in the selection set and display their radius do the same thing for the second entity so here is our exercise 5 using SS name we define a new function called get radius we created a selection set and select all the circles in the drawing if you uh, have no circle created in the drawing you have to create some so that we can have something to work on and then we create this variable and store the first circle from the selection set using the index 0 we then get the property of the first entity and store it in a variable e1p now using the association list remember that the four the four zero forty is the radius so in here we get the forty point whatever is the the radius of the circle then we get the cdr which is just the radius we don't need the forty so we store it in the variable called rad1 then we just print it that the radius of the first circle is this one the RTOS is basically the real to string conversion using the decimal uh, function here 
and we uh, we do the same thing for the next entity in the selection set with an index one store it in the e2 variable then get the properties here then same with the first one we get the radius of the second circle and store it in a rad2 variable and display the radius of the second circle is this one so I hope you get that one correct as well next let's go to the last uh, exercise number six using sslint function create a program called get number first select all the line objects and store in their variable lines then display the count using alert next all select all lw polylines under the layer road create road layer if not yet created and store in p lines variable and display the count and lastly select all the text with style of italic and store in variable text and display the count to the user so here is our solution we define a new function called get number then we select all the line objects and we store that in the lines variable then using the alert function we display the message with the count of lines using the combination of strcat and the etua function the integer to ascii function and next we selected all the polyline objects under the layer row. This is the extra filter here. And store them in the plines variable. Then using the alert command, display the number of lines in the drawing. And last part of the requirement is to select all text with a style of italic. Then display to the user using the alert and there are a number of circles I mean a number of italic text in the drawings here so that's all about for the solutions I hope you had fun creating the program yourselves and at this point I am assuming you are getting more comfortable now writing Autolist program in the next uh, lesson we will learn about conditionals and loops. I'll see you in the next video.